Okay, guys, we are back with yet another test of the Unify Express mesh system from Ubiquity. Now, I did a mesh test earlier. It, I thought it went pretty well. Everything was good, but the reoccurring comment in or that kept showing up in my comments was, don't use uh, something like speedtest.net. Use something like iPerf. So we are going to do this all over again, but this is going to be the iPerf version. Let's get going. Meet our mesh twins here. We have the Unify Express. We're going to be working with two pucks. So basically, I set up an iPerf server right here that this is connected into the network. And then we have our remote mesh unit that we're going to be moving around. Now, right now, the signal is minus 25 uh, dBm. So it's, it's, it's going to be good, right? That should be good, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of tests just like we did last time. We're going to plug the computer directly into this guy. We're through the switch and we're going to test. And then we're going to plug into him because then we'll be connected mesh. And then we're just going to start slowly moving him farther and farther away and see what our throughput does with these devices. I would imagine we're going to get similar results to what we did with speedtest.net. However, you're going to get a real um, you're going to get real data this time because we're taking out the internet aspect of it and Verizon 5G aspect and just all that other stuff. The other thing we're doing differently is I'm physically connected into this device with my laptop, so I don't have a wireless connection between the devices. Before, I was running speed tests from my phone, so I was also connected wirelessly to this, which was connected wirelessly to that. Now, in my defense, I was trying to create a sort of real-world scenario, um, something that the everyday person would could do in their home and get a feel for how these things operated in a real-world uh, situation. However, you guys spoke up, and I'm back, and we're going to do another video here using iPerf, and we're going to see how these things perform, perform that way. So let's get going. All right, guys, test number one. We are plugged directly into the switch. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay, as expected, it is running 912, 918, 911. So 911 megabits per second. That is what we're kind of comparing this to, right? That's going straight from the source. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug into our puck here and we're going to run another test. And this is at minus 7 dBm. Okay, so let's see how much we lose just by going mesh. Okay, wait for my computer to come back online. Okay, considerably slower. All right, so that time we averaged 272. So we went from 900 to 272 just by moving to mesh. So I'm gonna run another one just to kind of get a little extra data here. Let's see what that turns up. So there's 300, 303, 312. Okay, so a little better this time. Okay, that one came out to 286. Somehow. Um, okay, so that's what we're kind of, kind of comparing to. So for the next test, we're going to move this guy over to another area in my basement, but within the same room. So we'll probably go about 40 feet away and run another test. So let's see how that goes. All right, guys, so we are now about 40 feet away. So if you look over there, kind of by where that bright light is, I have my bench over there. Um, that's where the other unit's sitting. Currently, we are at minus 56, 55 dBm. All right, so we're not too far away. Let's go ahead and run another test and see what happens here. Okay, 197, 209, 192. Okay, so it did drop a little bit. Okay, 189. I'm going to go ahead and run one more here. 
Looks like it stayed pretty consistent. So let's see. I bet this one stays pretty consistent too. Okay, cool. Now, let's just, for grins, let's uh, run a speed test. Just, just for fun. I know it's not exactly what we set out to do, but let's go ahead and run one. Let's see what we let's see what kind of speeds we get. Okay, pretty similar. 225, 226. So not too bad. 208. About about where the iperf showed. It dropped there at the end down to 190, but not too shabby. Okay, and we're maxing out our upload. So, not too bad, not too bad. About what I expected. Boom. All right, so for our next test, I'm gonna move this upstairs. So it's gonna be up a floor, but it's gonna be fairly close to the unit, be right above it. So the signal strength should be pretty strong still. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so for this next test, I'm basically sitting just above the main unit downstairs. Now, this should be a pretty good test because the signal is really good. Hopefully this is clear enough you can see it, but we're at minus 57 dBm right now, even though we're a floor up, which is great. So let's go see how the test does, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna run the first one. Whoops, run the first one here. So I don't, the first ping or whatever is always lower. This one was 56, and then it jumps in the 200. So it came out to 209. All right, let's see. What else? All right, we'll run it one more time. So the first one was 43 this time. But I'm staying around, I'm hovering around that 220, 218, 210 mark on, on my test. Now, something to kind of take in consideration here is there's only one device on this network. I don't have, you know, the average household has 30-some devices. So as you start sprinkling these around your house, yes, they'll kind of divvy up. But if this guy's carrying the weight, uh, of multiple wireless devices, um, I don't think it's going to really perform that well. I don't think the 2x2 two two MIMO really helps it, and I know it being only dual band doesn't. So um, that's kind of a bummer, but, but this should give you a pretty good idea of how it performs. Now, I'm going to do two more tests. The next test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my, wire, my laptop from a physical connection to it. I'm going to go into the other room, and I'm going to run a test wirelessly, kind of like I did... Uh, with my test um, using speed test, my previous YouTube. And then what I'm going to do for my last test is I'm going to move this box farther away so the signal degrades between him and his buddy downstairs, and I'm going to run a physical test, and that'll be my last test. Then we'll sum everything up. All right, so let me get set up here, and we'll do our next one. Okay, guys, so I'm sitting in my living room, so I'm probably a good 40 feet away from the, the mesh unit, which is... Uh, still in the same place it was a minute ago. So it's going to be at that minus 55 dBm. So you can see I'm connected to 5G mesh unit. So I'm on my 5 gigahertz. Uh, I have good signal, which is good. And we're going to go ahead and run another test. So let's just see what happens here. Okay. Okay, mid-70s, mid-low 80s. So it did drop down a bit. Uh, let's run another one here. Go. Kind of hovering around that same speed, 80s and 70s, upper 70s. Okay. Now for grins, whoops. I am going to just run a speed test here. Okay, decent signal, decent speed, 150. I mean, that's that's doable. I'm getting half my speed up here. Um, so, you know, not too bad. The iPerf didn't really reflect that very well, but all in all, I still pulled pretty decent speeds up here through it. 
Um, and I made sure I am connected to the mesh unit. There's no way I'm connected to the main unit. So um, I am for sure verified going through the mesh unit. So not a bad speed test there. That's pretty good. All right, guys. So the last test, like I said, we're going to move it farther away. I'm going to go back to the physical wire and let's see what our speeds drop down to. I expect them to drop down pretty good. And then we'll kind of wrap things up with our findings after that. Okay, guys. So we are back with our final test here. So the unit actually says it's kind of kind of nice little gauge. I like it. It actually says too far, but it's minus 80 dB, minus 79 dB. So it's it's pretty far away. Um, it's it's where it was sitting last time. So I don't know. I don't remember what I think I was at minus 77 last time. So it's pretty close to where that was at. So let's go ahead and run our uh, iperf test here and see how we do. Okay. So first one's coming out at 50, 70, 58. So actually pretty similar to what it was before, to be honest with you, uh, from the wireless test. So, all right, minus or 63. Let's run it again. Okay. It's actually better than I thought it would be. No, no, no kidding. I mean, it's not great, but it's definitely better than I thought it would be. So there's 73. All right. So all in all, it's a cool device. I love the signal meter on it. it it's pretty cool. Um, but let's, uh, let's go downstairs. Let me, let me get this put away here and, uh, let's summarize kind of what we, what we found out today. All right, guys. So what did you think? Please leave a comment down below on kind of what you thought on, on how this device did. Now I like it. I think it's a, I think it is a great device. I definitely think there's some room for improvement. Um, and maybe there will be a tri-brand or a, you know, a four by four, um, Mimo with, uh, on the five gigahertz channel at least. Um, so people who stream and game and stuff like that can really get the benefit of using something like this, but it does do as advertised. You can buy a couple of these. It will extend coverage in your house and you get the benefits of being able to VLAN and using the ubiquity interface that they've polished and got working really well. Um, and I think it's going to be a lot stable than what I ran into in the previous iterations. I just, I just do. I think they fixed a lot of that meshing stuff that wasn't really working the best um, before. But I, I think there's some room to grow on this guy. Um, but all in all, um, I think it's a good product. I think if you want to get into the Ubiquity world really affordably, this is a good way to go. Now, the, the Unified Dream Router, um, the UDR, is uh, 200 bucks. And it will mesh with things too. Matter of fact, this will mesh with that. So again, combination of things. It I rank I put them in the same category. I just do. The the UDR isn't very powerful. This isn't very powerful. But at the same time, you can use them uh, like that. So pretty decent little device. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with it. But tell me what you guys think. Hopefully, this satisfies uh, my commenters that. You know, wanted me to not use speed test, which I completely understand that, guys. I, I know speed test. I even tell my customers speed test is not a real test. It's just to give you a guide. So I realize that this is a better way of doing it. I appreciate you guys weighing in. Um, if there's something else you'd like to see, let me know. I'm going to do some more videos on these. We're going to dive into them. Some of the differences maybe between the app and the web interface. There's some little things I've noticed. But one of the things I want to do is I am going to just leave them up and running. And I'm going to run my TV off of them upstairs. Streaming is just using a Fire Stick, all Wi-Fi. And it will be streaming off the Remote Express. Um, and I'm just going to let it run for a couple weeks. And I'm going to see how it does, right? But right now, the TV is physically connected, or a lot of times it's connected wirelessly to my access points. But let's see how it does in this mesh situation. Am I getting cutouts? Is it buffering more often? I think that'll be a real, a good real world test for, for this guy right here. So um, thank you for tuning in. As always, guys, like, follow. Um, there's more coming. I'm excited to keep putting these out. So please um, come back. I'd love to see you. See you later, guys.